Election victory could come down to one simple factor, the economy. When we head to the polls in May, the PM believes we'll be voting for who can best manage the nation's money. His parliamentary numbers are crumbling, the poll numbers diving. But the race now is on. The election date all but sealed, the 11th or 18th of May. That would have to be conducted by the 18th of May. Barring disasters, it won't be earlier than May the 11th because first, there must be a budget on April the 2nd. Before we go to the next election, we will be handing down a budget. And it will be a surplus budget. The election, says the PM, will be fought on economic management. This is the government that's getting on with the job of securing Australia's economic future. And the critical document will be the pre-election budget. And it will be the first surplus budget since the coalition was last in government, Mr Speaker. The Prime Minister is being just a little tricky. A surplus budget is not the same as a budget surplus. Under questioning, Scott Morrison conceded that the projections haven't changed. His government is not expected a budget surplus until the next financial year. There's no change um, to the projections in terms of when we anticipate the budget going into balance. Although don't be surprised if, with a flourish, that changes just as we prepare to vote. The last government to deliver an actual surplus was this one in 2007. But it didn't stop the voters from kicking them out. The big question for the nation, which one of these men is going to be mowed down come May next year. Hugh Rimmington for 10 News First.